There we are. Tua, how are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. It didn't pop up yet, but I'm I'm still waiting. Can you hear me? Yep, and I can see you now too. Can you see me? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Awesome. Well, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me here tonight. The pleasure Super. I've been looking forward. Me too, man. I, I had the pleasure of talking to you before um, briefly. And man, your energy and your motivation, I was pumped from that talk. And so when I started doing these interviews, I was like, I've got to have two on here. So oh, awesome. man, I appreciate that. What <laughs> One of the, the biggest things that jumps out to me, I mean, there's so many different things. You, you know, you talk about your girls all the time. You talk about your motivation. You talk about your why. You motivate people to go after their, your, you know, their dreams and you really give back to the community and you really give of yourself. Um, but really what's kind of drawn me to want you on here is it, you have a unique story of from where you kind of started off and then the transition that you had. Do you mind going into that and kind of sharing a little bit with our viewers? So if there's someone that maybe might feel that they're in a certain position, they're like, I can't do anything with my life. I can't go after this goal or anything along those lines. Yes. Yeah, so, you know, you know, as a kid, you know, it, it was tough for me to find myself and, you know, uh, I, I kind of got bullied for, 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 for being a good kid and having a good heart. And, um, you know, eventually I got caught up in the wrong crowd and, you know, I didn't really have no guidance, you know, as a, as a youth. And, uh, I kind of, you know, did some things that I wasn't proud of or, you know, just things that, you know, that I still regret to this day kind of thing. Right. And, uh, I just didn't have no guidance. And I just, I just, I just took that upon myself. Like, you know, I learned everything the hard way, you know, and if I could help someone, uh, uh achieve their goals without going through the same things that I went through, that's big on me. That's that's what I want to do. And I think I'm blessed to have a platform to where, you know, being able to follow your dreams instead of following the crowd, it's possible, you know, and, I'm living proof, you know, like, um, yeah, I never settled for less. You know, once I made the, the, the transition of changing my life and wanting to become an actor, um, and all the things that, you know, that I wanted to pursue, um, it, it came true. And that's just, you know, just putting your mind to it and putting your heart and soul into everything that I do. That's awesome. Was there any point that you remember that, that was like a shifting moment for you that, that you're like, I need to do this or, you know, cause you talk, you're big on goals. Was there any, a particular time where you just, you know, set a certain goal and started going after it or was it a slow transition for you? I think, you know, the birth of my second daughter at a very young age, you know, when I was 19, I, I, I told myself I needed to, to do something with my life and, you know, the path that I was going, I wasn't really doing anything with my life. And I think I wanted to, to be, a person that my kids can look up to and be inspired to do, you know, what they want to do eventually in life. And I just, you know, I looked at my daughter when she was young, when she was like, you know, a, a, a newborn. I just, I just mm -hmm. decided to just pursue my dreams, you know? That's so, awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. And I love how you, you talk about your girls all the time and, you know, share their, their pictures and everything. It's so awesome. So good to see. And I mean, kids, ki kids can do that and they just, yeah. Man, it's so wonderful, and I'm glad that you're doing that. I know a big part of my why going after my acting goals are for my children because they have big goals too, so that's super powerful. Um, what is it that you're, that you're into now um, as far as what, what are you working on? What would you like to share with the people out there where they can take a look and see what you're up to? I am – man, what, what am I not doing, right? Uh, yeah, exactly, <laughs> I, I, I do want to write. I'm writing a, a, a script right now. It's a wrestling script. Um, yeah, I know. And, no, you know what's funny about that is I was going through videos and I was watching the videos with my son. He's seven. And so yeah. he saw he saw a clip of you with your mask on, the uh -huh. like Nacho Libre thing. And he was like, who's that? <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of a mix of like, uh, you know, uh, it's kind of like a, a, a mix of Nacho Libre to where, you know, the real – the bad and the ugly of the, you know, the wrestling world. I kind of, I have a little glimpse of it, but it's, it's definitely an inspirational story. You know, I, um, so it's about like two friends that kind of gave up on the dream due to like, you know, their path going to separate ways, one getting married and they just come back to the dream and they, they know that they can't do it without each other. So 
yeah. So they start pursuing the 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 the, the dream of uh, wrestling. That's awesome. So many of the films that I've seen you in have that theme to it, you know, have like a going one way and shifting and having that in there. So I'm so glad that, you know, not only you as a person, but also your work is reflecting that. That's super cool. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate um, it. Do you have any certain type of daily habits or anything that you that help keep your mindset going forward? I mean, you have so much energy and so much motivation that I know like a lot of times people, you know, when they see people like that, they're like, oh, they've got to have a bad day, you know? And I'm sure that you do. I'm sure we all have those moments. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Like, I just got goosebumps. Yeah, I have bad days, you know, like, you know, um, I have a lot of bad days. And I think the biggest thing that you need to do is surround yourself with people that push you to do the, to, to, to be better, you know? Um, my, my my girlfriend is like one of them she, she's always pushing me to do something you know to push me to do better and I just you know with that being said you just got to surround yourself with people that are like-minded like you you know and you know if it's a small circle so be it you know and I'm blessed to have people that you know support me and and want to bring the best out of me but yeah I do have bad days it, it doesn't look like it on my social media but I do have bad days and and I think the biggest thing that pushes me is I've come this far, you know, why go back? Mm. You know, you know, I have a lot of people relying on me, counting on me and, and, you know, it's just like, I don't know if you've seen that, that, that one picture of the guy chipping away and he gives up and it's like this mm. close to the diamond, right? The diamond yep. is like, well, if he would have hacked it two more times and there's the diamond right there, but he gave up, you know, and I think that's, that, that's what gets me going every single morning. You know, some mornings, yeah, I do not. I mean, sometimes I just want to lay in bed all day. But, you know, the biggest thing, Melody, is you can't pick and choose on the days you want to become successful. You know, it's mm. an everyday thing. It's an everyday mentality. Yeah. And I, that's what makes the difference between people making it and people are, are just, like, you know, giving up on a dream. Like, you have you have to push yourself to think the same thing every single day and, you know, things might change, but the goal stays the same, you know, so. And I think that's really what it's about. Like, is like, I'll, I'll watch interviews of people that, you know, in my mind have made it and like, you know, watching yourself and, you know, people have made it, but it's a, a consistency. It's continuing to move forward because there could be at a point where you could be somewhere where people think you've made it, but it's always about bettering yourself and, and, and empowering other people as you go up. Um, watching other interviews of like Tom Hanks worrying about if he's going to, you know, mess up a movie or something like that. So it's just kind of, yeah. it's like, wait a minute. No, it's, we, we need to keep pushing forward and, and I enjoy the journey. Like I, I watch the videos of where you're, you know, you're serving your community, you're getting food together and you're gathering food for the homeless. And it's like, like, I'm sure that really just helps fill you up as well. I mean, you're taking care oh, of yeah. others and you're servicing others, but it, it helps shift the mind a little bit. So these are just some of the great things that I see that you do that I know are powerful for other people, but they do help us as well, like when we do these things. So it's just, man, and for I, those of you watching, that, go ahead. No, and I think that's, you know, I think people forget that, you know, when you do become successful or if you, if you are blessed, that you, you know, don't forget to give back, you know what I mean? Because I think that's Arnold Schwarzenegger's one of, one of his rules of success is never forget to give back, you know, like, always give back it's always good to give back and it's always good to to help people you know achieve their goals as well and i think that's just good karma and good you know energy and good vibes and just it comes back onto you you know what i mean so yeah i yeah. heard you in a video today when you said you know whatever you give out you can get back tenfold and that works you know any way that you do it and i just that one really hit really hard so i, I love it everything you say man really sinks in so keep doing what you're doing we're getting a lot of love here. We're well, getting a lot of love. A whole bunch of people are here saying hi. Um, we've got Alex sending Ish. us some love. Hey, shout out Man. to Charlotte on here. Man, there's so many people. You yeah, can shout Charlotte. out, shout out. You know, Charlotte's a, yeah. you know, Charlotte's one of those you know actresses that's been through. Yeah, Charlotte's there. Yeah, been through a lot. You know, she's man. You know, she inspires me too because like, I think. Cameron. Uh, 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 Charlotte, you know, she's been acting for so many years. I don't know how much, but she inspires me because, you know, through thick and thin, she still uh, continues to, 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 to chase the dream. And 
I think she's one of those people that genuinely loves to act. And I think, you know, I love what your, her interview with you. I think you had an interview with you, what, two, three weeks ago? Yeah, a couple of weeks ago. It was awesome. Yeah. And I love when I tuned in, she said something that as an actor, you know, you need to know your worth, but you need to, to know if you, if, if you feel like the script is good and, it's, and you think that it's something that you believe in and stand for, uh, and it's non-paid, just you know she'll do it for like the 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 love of it right and yeah. i do that's me too uh if the script is is something that i believe in and i want to be a part of and i feel good about it inside i'll do it i'll do it but you must know your worth and that's 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 what charlotte said you must know your worth and you know eventually you're going to be like okay well uh how much do I get paid? You know, it's not about the pay, but it's about like, you know, putting yourself into a higher level of things. Right. So. Yep. Absolutely. So cool. Awesome. So where's the best place that people can, can watch you and get inspired by you? I mean, you get it. You're on also what elate the minds, right. You're working with them and doing yep. a lot of, um, is that uh, primarily youth outreach or what is that? Youth and adults, but yeah, primarily, uh, primarily youth. Um, it's me and Damar, um, Relate the Minds. You know, Damar's a great actor, too. He does it all, you know. And like I said, you know, um, surround yourself with people that are like-minded, and Damar is definitely one of them. And yeah. he's the one kind of like – I just actually texted him today, and, you know, we push each other, so. That's awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Is there anything else you want to share with those watching? Yeah, just, you know, guys, just never give up on your dreams, you know, just – uh, when you feel like giving up, you know, just just try to remember that, you know, you, it just takes, you know, that one 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 try to and it, one try in life, and it, it could change your whole life. So, don't give up. And I appreciate this. Absolutely, thank you so much for your time. You guys go to go to his um, page, check him out, watch his stories big time. Those are really you get some really good in the moment juice stuff there. So. Um, I support you. I want to push you and see you go as well. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for sharing the energy and have a wonderful night, man. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Take care. Bye, guys. Thank you, everyone, for joining. All right. We got a whole bunch of people in here. Wow. Look at all this love you got, man. So awesome. I'll see you guys later. All right. Take care, guys.